Oh, and I miss I had CDs too and shit. I'm missing that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that right up. Oh, please believe it. Please believe it. It's so serious. My, my landlord was like, nigga, I don't accept hand claps no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that last month, you know what I mean? Can you do it two months in a row? And I need to buy a beer later too, so help support my habits. So, you know, maybe I won't be one of these niggas <laughs> begging for change and shit. Okay. Let me get off that. I don't want to put that energy out there. It scares me for real though. Alright. Now they try to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. I guess it was only two or three drinks there. <laughs> Just us tonight, I guess. Now when it comes to ability to combine, thought provoking concepts in the rhyme, Tommy Bottoms, that's me, way ahead of his time. So in celebration of my greatness, from time to time I typically have a taste of tequilas and toast of my talent for telling the truth. But in the process of putting together all these dope devil line tantras, Driving some heavy shit for your medulla oblongata. Tommy Bottoms has developed a slight drinking problem. <laughs> but I'm not just a heavy drinker. See, I'm a heavy thinker. So I marinate my mind in some barley or hops and I jump off into some deep thought. See, I'm an inebriated genius with a Jose Cuervo flow. Call me the Black Al Capone because I'm a modern day wordplay bootlegger and I ain't looking to dry out. See, I smuggled all my rhymes Cross that Mason Dixon line, now they call me the new mouth of the South. See, I am a socially conscious alcoholic. I keep up on current issues and worldviews over a couple of cold brews. And then I put together my pure thoughts in the form of a poem, and I present the people with my particular point of view. So doing damage to my lipper helps the people become better thinkers. And baby, bring on the cirrhosis. Cause my soul is so ferocious. Man, fuck some rehab and I ain't looking for no AA. Cause if I can get 20 million citizens to wake up and pay attention and listen to this bullshit double talk, and these politicians be spitting, then that was a small price to pay. Cause I am a drunken political pundit. No need to call a politician a pimp. Cause that just sounds redundant. But what I will say is regardless if you're a Republican or a Democrat, Politics is just a game, and all politics is lie, and they act like they on different teams, but believe they on the same side. And the reason why is because the politics' the primary objective is to get reelected. So they'll say whatever they gotta say in order to survive. Do whatever it takes to keep their career in politics alive. But there's no need to worry. Because see these big corporations and special interests are doing everything possible to make sure y'all get the best government Money can buy. How else you think these politicians can afford to dress so fly? Out here bowling on the campaign trail, popping balls of champagne, eating lobster tail, living rock star lifestyles, having domestic policy origins in the Oval Office, fucking y'all right in the face because you refuse to see the obvious. And the reason you don't want to notice the distortion because they got you sidetracked and distracted with polarizing issues like gay marriage and abortion. So while y'all running around here protesting, debating whether it's a woman's right to choose, or whether Gary can marry Larry, or Sherry can marry Linda, the job you had for the last 10 years just got shipped off to India. But I know you don't want to put your trust in no Trump. <laughs> so ain't no need to listen to me. Just keep on listening to them gangsters in the mafia. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Those gangsters in the media. So they be pumping you so full of fear, got y'all believing everything that they feeding you. Like them dudes in Fox News, like these gangsters in blue suits. Got y'all so scared to death that you're ready to call the corner. So they got you believing there's a terrorist and a child predator standing on every single corner who can't wait to have sex with your young little daughter. But it's just like those Bill O'Reilly types. Always ready to clear war on something but ain't never been in a fight. It's up there bumping his lift together like two Frisco dykes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have to excuse me for my rudeness and my crudeness. See, I'm just up here rhyming under the influence. 
but I'm never too intoxicated to get behind the wheel of your mind. I can drive a point all the way home, have y'all thinking outside the lines. So before you start yelling, fuck Bush, make sure you put on a rubber. Because the, <laughs> the government and the media are in an open relationship with each other. And before I go any further, I need everybody to flag down the closest waitress. Then about to get everybody side of truth straight up with no chasing. Now listen. The American media is the fourth branch of the government. And the important role that they play is to kind of keep the people in check and completely off balance. That way the other three branches can do whatever they want to do and remain relatively unchallenged. That's because the American public is only concerned about the next celebrity scandal or the next high profile murder case or the latest LAPD high speed car chase. And while you sidetrack and distract with all that, your government just passed the Patriot Act. Now your phones is getting tapped, but they pumped y'all so full of fear. You don't see nothing wrong with that. It's because the media and the politicians have sold you on the slogan that Americans love their freedom. And that is the ultimate lie. Because Americans don't love freedom, Americans love to be pacified. Because all you need is an Xbox and an iPod, a laptop and a credit card. American Island on Wednesday. Starbucks and Cold Red Chain. And you know we need our DVDs, cable TV on the big screen, ABC. NBC, BET, and MTV, who really needs civil liberties when you got ringtones on your phone and PlayStation 3? So you and all drank from the Kool-Aid, so now you become addicted to all these technology trinkets. You ain't nothing but a go-go gadget savage. You used to like having sex on the beach, now you just surf the web for head. Looking at long on with a lovely lady who's looking to have a couple of Blackberry babies. But it is your lust for all these electronic lovers is the reason why you no longer have to worry about the watch for I a big brother. So they put cameras on all of y'all cell phones. So now you're just out here watching each other. Nigga, that's gangster. But it is time for the watch to become the watchers. You got to start paying attention how these politicians and the media moguls be moving like mobsters. Stop thinking that the Bloods and the Crips Got some beef. Man, real gangster shit go down between Madison Avenue and K Street. And I know some of y'all probably think, man, this nigga drink way too much, you know what the fuck you talking about. But that's cool. Because see the difference between me and most of you? I can always say I'm too drunk to notice the government abuse. But most of y'all sitting up in here bone dry sober, your government is still getting over. So tell me what exactly is your excuse? But I'm the black Al Capone in the mouth of the South, about ready to sign out. I'm about to ride out the Waffle House, go get me something to eat. But before I leave, I need a little more time to think. So bartender, go ahead and hook me up with another goddamn drink. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate y'all.